afternoon and thank you for joining us here on Midday Kentucky. Troy is still away at Snowshoe yeah. enjoying Skiing. that winter wonderland. <laughs> but don't worry, he'll be back on Monday and he's going to be showing a lot of pictures and videos. So if you haven't been to Snowshoe or you're interested, tune yeah. in Monday. Yep. He'll be giving us a little recap. Uh, but today on the show, I have to say I'm really excited to talk to Retina and Associates. Yes. Because I have floaters from time so to time. Do I. And I don't know, you know, do we need to be concerned? Yeah. What do we need to look out yes. for? And they actually, there are ways you can get rid of them. So awesome. we're going to learn all of Can't that wait. coming yeah. up here on the show. But what are you doing this weekend? Uh, this weekend, I'm working a little bit at the clinics and okay. just keeping it real casual, you know, mm -hmm. uh, dealing with like the warmth. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to, like, try to go on a hike or something. I'm excited about this warm weather. It's been so cold. Yeah, yeah. It's been what about really you nice. guys? Yeah. Lisa's getting way to the warm, well, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Jealous. We are getting ready to leave for our vacation. We're going on a cruise Ooh. to the Bahamas. We're going to go to... Um, we're going to go to Turks and Caicos and all these different oh, places. So I, I can't wait. I'm They're so checking excited. out Atlantis. Yes, there yes, too, we're right? going to go. I really yes. want to see that. So yes. take a lot, a lot of, of pictures. pictures. Oh, yeah. my gosh. The kids are so excited for Atlantis because of the huge water, you know, yeah. the world's largest water park. So I, I can't wait. Are I can't you, wait. Do you, you do the water kids. slides? Oh, yes. Oh, that'll be good. <laughs> you know Lisa <laughs> yes. is like, move out of the way, cut in front yeah. of kids, <laughs> like pushing them. Yes. <laughs> I, I will be. Yeah, <laughs> get time to take some videos of you on the slide. <laughs> yes, it could be scary. Um, well, the first topic that I wanted to bring up today, uh, this was kind of going viral this morning. <laughs> and at first, I'll just tell you guys the headline. I'll see what you think. Okay. <laughs> Mother makes her five-year-old daughter pay rent. Yeah. And I thought, what? oh my gosh, that's crazy. Um, before we get into the details of kind of how she's doing it, um, Lisa, you have kids. Yes, um, I do. Would you Two. ever... Think about having them pay rent. I would love that, actually. But <laughs> do you think it's appropriate at a no, young age? Or? You know what? I I've never thought about something like this, Katie. <laughs> okay. So this is like a this is mind blowing for me to even think about it. <laughs> yeah. And I just you know, I just want kids to be kids. I really do. I yeah. mean, I think there's a time and place for that. I think five is a little young for that. I think maybe <laughs> getting into high school that might be a good time. Yeah. But five years old, that might be a little too young for me. All right, so let me tell you what she is doing. Okay. So she is charging her daughter $5 a week, mm -hmm. and it comes out of her $7 a week allowance. So she's not making her daughter go out and work to, to pay the rent. It comes out of her allowance. But she says that it's to teach her daughter that most people spend their money on bills and not fun things. So she gets $7, yeah. and then she has to spend a dollar on rent, dollar on water, dollar on food, dollar on cable. But, you know, if you don't want to watch TV... You yeah. only owe four dollars. Oh, you know, to try to teach yeah. her what she owes. Now, the mom says she is actually putting that money. It's in a savings account for her daughter. Right. Okay. And when she turns eighteen, the mom says if she wants to move out, that money is hers to go toward her first apartment and expenses because she says she'll now know how to spend the money. I so, with some of those <laughs> other details, uh, what do you guys think? I'm thinking that's great. Honestly, you know, you see a lot of. Uh, I was reading about uh, an owner of a furniture store, and he started selling, like, odds and ends when he was a little kid, uh -huh. probably around 8 or 10. But she's just teaching money management, responsibility, respect. I love, because it's not like she would, needs to give a 5-year-old an allowance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's really cool. She's implementing these, you know, valuable lessons at an early age. That kid's going to have a lot more responsibility. And, you know, just being able to make those decisions like, do I want to spend that dollar on TV this week? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I love what she's doing. I just, I'm blown away. Uh, you know, I mean, yes, I, I agree. And I, you had mentioned earlier, and I agree with this, that she's probably going to be a high achiever. Yeah. <laughs> when she gets out in the world, she's going to be, yeah. you know, she's going to have it together, you know, much better than I did. When I got to college, I didn't have a clue about money management right. yeah. and yep. all of that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in, in that regard, it is very good for a child to learn that. I just think at five, it might be a little too young. Plus, she only has $2 left. <laughs> she's she's what fine, she gonna, though. But I guess if you're five, what are you <laughs> Right? Like, <laughs> this is good. What but she says, think? so she's living in Georgia, and she says that she's received a ton of praise for it. Yeah. And, yeah, at first I thought five seems a little young to have to learn that lesson. Yeah. Maybe by, like, 15, 16, 17 to say, hey, if you want to watch cable, you're tuning yeah. in. Yes. Or, you know, right. th those types of lessons. Right. But then, also, at five, she's not paying her own, but you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not like she would spend the money on mm -hmm, anything mm -hmm, else. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I don't 
don't know. <laughs> I think it's a good. I think it's a good lesson. Maybe a little young. It might know. be. A, it might be a little yeah. young, but I think you know, come high school, you know, middle okay. school, high school, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I might take like some it. notes from that. So. Um, <laughs> well, it kind of leads us into this next story. Yeah. Of maybe if you have not learned how to manage your finances, <laughs> this is good. Yeah, you some might need to go think. on a shopping diet. And Lisa, <laughs> that's what you're going to tell us about today. That this is probably the one that applies more. To me. Yes. Well, <laughs> you know, I, when I read this, I thought of all of us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think we might all be in that bucket. But you know, I, I wanted to know. The article is talking about being a shopper that shops like during emotional times. Mm -hmm. So are, do you find yourselves to be emotional shoppers? Like when you're sad or depressed, do you t tend to go out and buy? Or when you're really happy or excited about things? What do you, how do you guys shop typically? I'm a rewarder. Like I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like oh, I did really great. So I, I can justify I making that this. purchase. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, I've also, back in the day, I had to be really careful. Like if I was bored, yeah. I'd be like, all right, you know, Brandy and I would be like, let's go shopping. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. and like, that's dangerous. Yes. You know it what is. I mean? It's it like, is. you don't really, you, you don't need anything, but exactly. hey, let's go, let's have some fun and exactly. gotta be careful Yeah, about I think that. that's the thing that people use that as a social activity, but for me, and you know, I'm addicted to online shopping, <laughs> so it's more yes. of the board stuff on Amazon and they get you with the, you may also like, or I click on all those lists of 20 things you never knew you needed on Amazon <laughs> and then I start <laughs> clicking through it and I buy a bunch of stuff, but I don't even remember the last time I went to store mm -hmm. uh, to just do leisure shopping oh. outside yeah. of like Target or like Walmart for something I actually need. Yeah. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. Man Friend has suggested before if we have nothing to do, oh, why don't we go hang out at the ball? I'm like, <laughs> why? Like, if we don't need anything, why would I go there? You're like, like I'm not I don't 15. Know. <laughs> I don't even know the last time I went like browsing through stores, but maybe I need to instead of online. But um, no, what well, about you? When do you shop? Emotionally or rewarding? You know, uh, probably more um, in need, actually. I, mm -hmm. I tend to not be a real emotional shopper anymore. Yeah, I'm not either. Mom -like. <laughs> okay, no, exactly. That's, that's real people. Exactly. I mean, I shop. I do. I shop more for the kids yeah. than myself. I, you know, I just like. I just whenever I absolutely need something, I'll go out and get it. But okay. for the most part, it's all about the kids. So but when you need something, you need to just order it online. I and know. In two days it will be there. Exactly. <laughs> Katie well, tries to spread her yes, addiction. And Katie, you really have. <laughs> she has helped me in that regard. I go on Amazon now <laughs> a lot more. I'm just, I know. I just never did it before, so Helped. I love it. Yeah. But but here's what this woman was talking about was that she's in her 20 when we're in our 20s we buy all kinds of things mm -hmm. you know and and we kind of we kind of keep all this in stock in our closets. We'll come into our 30s. We're still doing this, but now we're in in a marriage, possibly we might be, or in a relationship mm -hmm. where you want to try to manage your money better. But the thing is, is that you have everything you really need. When you really look at your closet and every and everything that we have, we basically have everything we it's need. Crazy. So this woman was like, you know what? I'm going to go on a shopping diet where, and this is what she said. She the only things she's only going to be able to purchase beauty products. Um, which are a necessity like foundation, cleanser, moisturizer, mascara, and hairspray. So <laughs> like being a female, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. and then she said that she can also buy presents for other people. Okay. But she can only buy an item of clothing for herself if she sells an item of clothing. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. So that's the only time that's she cool. can buy something for herself. Do they have to be herself. the same price? What what you got? It doesn't what you can doesn't spend. matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Is what you, okay. the only money that you have is from things that you're selling. Oh, okay. And then she did allow herself to be able to spruce up her, her apartment and things like that. So I thought that was really interesting. And she's going to do it from mid January all the way to mid July. Oh. And she's going to stick oh, to oh. this and see how it goes. So we'll follow up and see how she does. My it. problem that's is fun. I just need to go on an actual diet. So I <laughs> don't have to go shopping. And yeah. the, you know those LBs creep up in the winter and I'm like, yes. oh, Seriously. I can't fit into that dress. I need a new one. <laughs> you know exactly. what I mean? I'm just fine that too. I'm like, well, these jeans are a little tight. That's why you're squeezing into them. Yeah, we've been there. But yeah, she wanted to do this to find balance in okay. her life like and, and, and to have less influence of, of other of material items on mm -hmm. her well-being and on her self-worth. And so that's why she wanted to do it. I thought it was kind of fun. I and I thought, good, yeah. and I'm going to kind of, you know, I might I might try to do some of this yeah. a little bit. We have a bunch of stuff that we need to sell down in our basement. Yeah. I'm like, let's do it, Doug. Let's sell his stuff and just kind of hold off on our spending. You should like, put no. it on Facebook. <laughs> I know. Doug's like, no. You should put it on the uh, Facebook Marketplace. Yes. Have you ever sold anything on that. there? I've yes. had a lot 
lot of people selling stuff. Y'all, I'm addicted to Facebook Market. Yes, oh, really? I love it too. I, I buy stuff on there all the time. You bought a table or something. And how does that work? Tables. When you go onto Facebook, is there just a tab for a marketplace? Market you can search yes. for events yep. Yep. or um, items, I mean? That, like at night, Brandy will be like, what are you doing? And I'll be like, <laughs> no, I'm on Facebook Market. I love it too. <laughs> I do. Like I'll get, I've gotten instruments on there, like guitars mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, I've gotten a camera uh -huh. on there and you I, know, I just got a dog crate for our dog. Yeah, our like new it's puppy super dog reasonable. So if anyone at home wants, is thinking of selling some things and they want to get on Facebook Marketplace, does it cost anything to post it? No. Or it's free? Mm -mm, it's okay. free. It's free. Now just remember, meet in a public place and totally. you can always go to the police station. Yes. They that, allow you that to come. Smart. A lot of them, some of that them even a good different idea. sheriff's office will have a specific parking place yeah. for people meeting and selling things online. Oh, so just be safe about it. You know, that's a good reason to be on the show. I'm learning things all the right. time. <laughs> well, we want to learn something else from you, David. You yes. brought something to the table today. It's called it Bringing Sexy Back. Well, right? yeah. <laughs> where I, did it go? I, yeah. I know. Well, it, went, it went to winter. Okay, that's where it went. So it went another on a year of unsexy winter, if you will. It's a season that's particularly type of, you know, like the cold depression. But this uh -huh. time we're going to give you a little bit of tips on just how, in, how to bring your sexy out of winter. Um, just simply taking a break and taking care of your body. Mm. So some of the things I wanted to talk about is, and I'm not going to tell you to go work out a thousand times or do a hundred crunches, but Good. just, yeah, right. It's like we have <laughs> enough of that. Just visit BMA. Well, well, you know, <laughs> but it is about spoiling your body. So many times during winter, we're thinking about like, well, maybe I'm not going to shave those areas. Nobody's going to see. Maybe I'm not <laughs> going to, I'm going to indulge myself. You know what I mean? I'm going to eat because it's comfy, but comfortable is not sexy. <laughs> so I'm just saying I want you to take care of your body. It's very, it's a dry season. Make sure you're using lotion. You know, uh, in the article it said, if you can reach it, lotion it. And I was like, well, okay, let's keep it moist. Okay. You know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, I want to get back to the shaving thing because Troy brought this topic up he like did. this past week of, I think it was Madonna's daughter had like unshaved armpits. Right. So we were talking about women not shaving if, if that's gross or not. Uh -huh. And we were saying that, I think that joke comes up in the winter like, oh, the woman with furry legs or, but I don't do that because for me, I don't like the feeling of it. I See, shave I don't for either. me, not right. for anyone else. But I think it's the men that let the shaving go in the winter. Yes, it's it not is. women. <laughs> like, hey, I wasn't <laughs> doing gender specific, y'all. No, but I ju I'm just wondering what you <laughs> think because what know. we were talking about the other day. Yes. Yes, we I know am, Troy like, I, grooms very well. So. He does. He Man, does. What do you think? Manscaping so? is super important because your partner is probably going to be a reflection of whatever you're doing, and if they're not, they're probably not going to be in the mood to bring sexy. Back. That's true. Right. Manscaping, That's true. I think, slacks in the winter though. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. no, well, m men are lazy. Yeah. Okay. So good. You so know, glad we agree. Yeah. <laughs> the next thing is taking time for yourself. Take a little break. Enjoy yourself. Okay. Get that time. You know, it's a really good time where we're all trying to turn our lives around. Mm -hmm. You know, but it, it is. It's like. You know, you might have been on that winter vacation where you were at your mom's house or your dad's or something, mm -hmm. and you're just like, that's not a vacation. <laughs> that is not like, Lisa's doing this right, taking a little extra time. And then the last thing is to bring sexy back, make sure you're getting a little sexy time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I love this Pringles things. Once it pops, it don't stop. You know, <laughs> make sure you're making time for your partner, but spruce yourself up. Take care of that body. Just yeah. in time for Valentine's Day. That's you're right, just people. You're spicing things up on the gotta show. Look good. I you needed to hear this, good. David. I needed. I appreciate you, David. Yes. Well, that's what I'm here for. I yes. Where's my lotion? <laughs> 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 well, stay with us coming up after the break. We have a much more conversation. But first, if you've ever had floaters yes. in your eye, I know a lot of us had. I'm stay gone. with us. We have the professionals out at Retina Associates coming in next to give us all the details. Stay with us.